Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. Today we will start discussing about hydral powers that are related to the hydrology and also our water resources how we are using that resources to generate the electricity. Okay so uh, well, discussing in detail about uh, hydel power plant, well, hydropower is one of the major source of energy. The other sources of energy being the thermal power that developed by the fuels such as coal, oil, natural gas, etc. And also uh, nuclear power or we can say atomic power. Well, the energy sources are divided into uh, mainly two different groups. That is water power, which is generated by utilizing the energy of water and the thermal power. Okay. Well, hydropower is obtained from the generators that coupled to water turbines, which convert the hydraulic energy into the mechanical energy. Well, the high head is required for running the turbines. So, that are created by constructing a dam across the river. So, for that, we have already discussed about the dams. Well, uh, most of the multipurpose schemes which used for different, different purposes have hydropower as one of the major function. Sometimes single purpose projects only for hydropower are also undertaken if it is economically justified. Well, the electrical power generated in the powerhouse located at the downstream of the dam is transmitted by a network of transmission lines to far from the regions where it is utilized for some various purposes. While well, talking about India, India has a vast uh, hydropower potential which is estimated about uh, 90 million kilowatt. Well, about 22% of this power or this potential is being tapped by the various existing and ongoing power schemes. The development of hydropower increasing from an almost insignificant quantity of 0.5 million kilowatt well uh, that was in the pre-independence period that is prior to 1947 well uh, we have installed a capacity of about 80 18.7 uh, million kilowatt in 1993 well, however, still there is a vast scope or the future for the development because about 70 potential is still untapped. Well, according to an assessment, the world water potential at the 100% efficiency and its utilization is estimated uh, that is about 5609 um, million kilowatt while according to the another assessment that world's technical exploitation for water power potential is estimated about 2724 million kilowatt so the world's hydroelectric capacity installed up to 200 million kilowatt which is about 9% of later assessment well this is just a data uh, from the history and uh, for knowing the future scope in the hydropower plant okay well this hydropower plants are classified into different categories so let's discuss about the classification uh, that is based on different different purposes of hydroelectric power plant so the first classification that is based on the storage characteristics based on storage characteristics there is uh, the first classification that is runoff river plants 
Well, runoff river plants are those which utilize the river flow having no bondage at its upstream side. Well, a weir or the barrage is constructed across the river simply to rise the water table. So such a scheme is essentially a low head scheme and is adopted in the case of a perennial river which has minimum dry weather flow of such magnitude which makes the development worthwhile. In such plants, sometimes the tailwater rises to such a high level during floods that plants become inoperative. And in some cases, small storage or the pondage is provided in such plants for tiding over an hourly fluctuation of that load when uh, the available rate of flow at the site is in excessive demand then uh, the excess water can be stored temporarily in the pond on the upstream side of the weir while the next uh, classification based on storage characteristics that is the storage plants or reservoir plants we can see well in storage plants a dam is constructed to create a large reservoir to store the water during the period of excess supply the storage to may the storage to take care of fluctuation of the river supply well such plants are generally located on a perennial on non perennial rivers there are generally medium head and high head plants available because the water is impounded in the reservoir at a high level the powerhouse is generally located near the toe of the dam the next uh, that is the pumped storage plant well a pumped storage plant is one in which the extra storage is made by pumping back the water which has already been used for the development of power. While the pump storage plant generates power only during the peak load period. While during the off peak period, water is pumped back to the head water pool from the tails. While the pumps are usually run with secondary power available from some other plants in the system. Well, it is usually not necessary to install a separate pumping system for uh, head up to 120 meter. Well, the runners of these turbines are so safe that they can be used uh, for turbine as well as the pump. With that also, it may be noted that a pumped storage plant does not increase the overall power potential because the power consumed in pumping water is usually greater than the generated power by the turbine. So it only supplements the power production to meet the peak demand. Thus, the pumped storage plant sometimes also known as the peak load plants. The fourth that is the tidal plants. Well, the tidal plants are designed to make use of high tides occurring in the sea for the generation of power. Well, tidal plants do not involve any storage of the water. Water at a time of a high tide when stored in a basin at a high level and can be made to fall into sea during the low tide through the turbines to produce the tidal power. So this was the classification according to storage characteristics. So the second classification that is classification based on the load characteristics and those are base load plants and peak load plant. Well, base load plants are those which are capable of supplying continuous power to the system throughout the year. Now both runoff river plants as well as the storage plants can be used as the base load plant when runoff river plants without the bondage are used as the base load plant now their full plant discharge is seldom more than the minimum flow of river while talking about the peak load plants a peak load plant is designed to take care of the peak load of the power system it operates only during the period of 
the peak load while pumped storage plants are usually designed as a peak load plants a runoff river plant with pondage can operate either as a peak load plant or it can be also operated as a base load plants that is depending upon the size of pondage okay the next characteristic that is based on head based on head we have three different uh, classification low head plants medium head plant and the high head plant well the low head plants is the one which uses head of less than 15 meter it is essentially a runoff river scheme a weir or barrage is constructed to rises the water level in the river the powerhouse may be constructed in continuation with the barrage sometimes the barrage is constructed some distance upstream of the powerhouse and water is conveyed to the powerhouse through an intact canal while talking about the medium head plant a medium head plant uses head between 15 to 16 meter now such a scheme is essentially a storage scheme a dam is constructed to store some quantity of water and also to obtain the required head while this a medium head scheme has the feature midway uh, has the features midway between the low head scheme and the high head scheme so let's talk about the high head scheme a high head plant uses a head more than the 60 meter a dam of sufficient height is constructed to store the water to ensure the supplies throughout the year and to attain sufficient head okay now let's uh, discuss about the classification that is based on the plant capacity so as per the plant capacity we have First, microhydal plants, then medium capacity plants, then high capacity plants, and the super hydro plants. Well, uh, first, the microhydal plants has the capacity that is less than 5 megawatt. Then, a medium capacity plant has the capacity between 5 megawatt to 100 megawatt. And most of the hydro power plants in India are of medium capacity plants. Well, a plant having a capacity between 101 to the 1000 megawatt is usually classified as the high capacity plants and above 1000 megawatt capacity, the plant is considered as the super hydro plants. So now if we discuss about the classification that is based on the type of fall that is the concentrated uh, fall plants and the divided fall plants. Well, talking about the concentrated fall plants in this type of plant, the powerhouse is located close to the dam or the weir so as to utilize the entire created head as the concentrated fall and if we talk about the divided fall plants in this type of plant the power is located at a considerable distance away from the dam or uh, weir we can say on the downstream to utilize the steep fall available in the ground surface that is just to increasing the operating head so however the divided fall plants are generally more expensive than the concentrated head plants so these are the classification that is of hydroelectric power plant okay uh, i hope students you understand uh, this topic uh, thank you so much for your kind attention i will see you in the next lecture